Good morning, friends. Today's elaboration is on the topic increasing atrocities on women in India and the concern for e rectification of such evil. Friends, it is really a matter of great concern that the atrocities on women in India is on increase. This has really saddened the you know, views and opinion of the people who believe in democracy. Well, we, we always are guided by the principle of equality of sex, equality of gender. When we are talking about equality of gender, we have to always consider the woman participation as a priority. But it is the irony that we still have this male dominant consciousness in our society that we are not coming out of that we are not coming out of that very consciousness we must set out this evils from our mind that male dominant in all, all areas of concern is just uh, showing that only male can do everything why not female see these recent data of the 10 years suggests that the woman participation in the walks of life particularly their contribution in different spheres of life has increased by lips and bound and they are a very successful manager they are very successful you know administrators wherever they are they are very successful caretaker they have in the during the COVID period also they have extended their support as doctors as nurses as health and paramedical staffs the women have really been contributing to the maximum of their ability to the progress of the country but quite sadly we people have never been concerned about the growing atrocities on women the recent cases um, in india I'm not going to mention them because that is quite, I mean, a matter of saying. The recent cases of, I mean, women atrocities have really made us to think twice that India is a democratic country where the women's participation must be encouraged. They should be given full freedom. They should be given complete respect in every walk of life. They not only i mean deserve to be applauded for their contribution they should be respected they should never be taken as i mean inferior gender they they are always doing well in the educational field they're always doing well in administrative field they're always doing well in health and paramedical field they're always doing well in medical and research team so where our country has to go uh, in a complete i mean Homo homogeneous way we have to take into consideration the growing atrocities on women we must change our outlook we must change our views we must change our opinion and perception about women women after all they are the part and parcel of the society they must be allowed to work in freedom and i mean uh, love and affection they should be extended all support from the male we need to change our attitude we need to give ex extend our support and so that they can do their work smoothly and without any fear we have to i mean give them the confidence that they have to not they have not to worry and they did not they do not have to have any fear in a, any area of their uh, working because then only they are Increasing participation in the democratic process can be assured, though it is a very healthy sign that the women are coming up in every field, in politics, in, you know, in administration, in, you know, all areas, in IT sector, in everywhere, women have been contributing very nicely and the country is flourishing with their contribution and the, the people are acknowledging their contribution, but the, but the atrocities that is on increase like a, the harassment against women torture of the women uh, and some some very sad incidents of i mean 
uh, woman suicide due to some some sort of pressure and that also has to go out from the society and we have to instill confidence in them that they are the integral part of the society and they have to work hand in hand with the men so that the nation can progress and that is what i can say that let the woman because we know it not only this this sense is i mean important it is rightly said that if we are educating a woman, we are educating the entire nation. And if we are educating a man, we are educating a citizen. So by educating the woman, we are educating the nation. And by giving them opportunity, we are making the country more flourishing, more progressive and more confident. So let us, I mean, change the attitude and come forward to support and extend our, I mean, sovereignty with the um, people of different gender and make them understand the value of living together and living freely, uh, living and doing work freely without any fear and any kind of discrimination. Gender disparity must go out of this society. That is what I appeal to. Thank you very much. Thanks and have a nice day. This is Eddie Singh on Easy English by Eddie Singh.